Hey, it's Mario Armstrong, smallbizgomobile.com. Thanks for watching. So I've been thinking lately about some of the limitations to like scanning on like different devices. And so we're gonna take a look at an application that's on the iPhone called Pocket Scan. And one of the things that I really, really like about Pocket Scan is with an iPhone, you can only really send one image at a time via email. But what if you wanted to send somebody multiple images? So in the case that you're gonna see in my example, we were in a meeting and there were a bunch of whiteboard designs that were done and we wanted to take photos of those and then send them out instantly right there from the location. And so Pocket Scanner helped me be able to basically take a bunch of images, put it together into one PDF and then send that email off to someone on the spot. So take a look at this application. It's only 99 cents. Take a look at it, see if it's great for what you may need. All right, so let's take a look at um, Pocket Scan. It's a, a 99 cent application that's available on the iPhone currently, but other scanning apps can be found on BlackBerry and other phones. But today we're looking at the iPhone and looking at Pocket Scan is the name of the app. So once you pull it up, the thing about this is that you can actually scan uh, different things. It really uses the camera's the, the, the camera on the phone to actually do the scanning. So I'm just going to run you through a quick example. Um, if you wanted to scan something, you just click on the PDF scanner and then up comes a blank sheet that basically asks you, okay, are you ready to start your first scan? And I'll say I'm going to scan a page. Now you could use the camera to then actually take a picture of whatever it is. Maybe it's a receipt, maybe it's a, a document, maybe it's a, a contract, whatever it could be, you could use the camera. In this case, I'm going to skip ahead of that for a second and just use the photo library. Now these are photos that I've already taken on my phone at some given point. And I'm going to actually scroll to a section that are more uh, business related types of images that I think one could use. So this was a meeting that was taking place with a bunch of uh, whiteboard images. So we were in a meeting discussing building a website and a new website design and it was all being done on a whiteboard. So we captured the images we took pictures from the iPhone and now I'm basically adding these photos and then what's going to happen is I'm adding multiple photos because let's just say the scenario is I want to now send this off to the design team or I want to send this off to someone else that wants to that needs to give it approval so now they can look at all the design and all the charts and what we actually discussed and what we actually drew about the website we're developing and as you notice, I just tapped on about six photos. Well, one of the limitations to the iPhone is that you cannot send multiple photos at the same time in an email. So one of the reasons why I really like this app is just because of that. Now you can see all the images that I basically pulled out of my library are now sitting in here. It's a total of seven of them. So now what I can do is actually make all seven of these images into one PDF file. So what I want you to understand is normally I would have to email the fo each photo individually. So that would be seven emails that I would have to do. So what this will enable me to do is take all seven photos, put it in one PDF, and I can name it, um, and I'll call it website, uh, I put webite, website designs. And then I'll hit done. And now it says it saves. This PDF has been saved in the document folder. So now it's taken all seven of these images and has placed it into the document folder. If I want to go back to my document folder, I just go back to Docs, and this will pull up all of my Docs. And I have a couple of other ones that you can see in here. But there's the website designs. So if we pull this up and it does what it's supposed to, we should see all seven images in this document. And as you can see, there's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So all seven are actually there and there are other options. I can bookmark it. I can do other things with it, but I just want to go ahead and email it. Um, and I can go ahead and email that out. Let's do that again. Email it out. And there you go. And then I'll send it to myself at uh, our small business email account. And now what you can see is basically all seven of those images have been sent out in one email. So this is a really, really big time saver to me. Um, and it's, it doesn't really do like what you think it would do is like actually grab the phone and scan across a sheet of paper. It just uses the camera on the phone to make your PDS. But here again, it's 99 cents. It's got a great rating on iTunes right now. It looks like it's at a five star. A lot of good comments about it. And I've been happy with it. It's been working really, really well. 
and I'm going to continue to use it for other things. Oh, I should show you one other quick thing about it. Um, in, in the actual, say you look at an image, you actually have some options for the image. You can increase or decrease the exposure. So maybe it was too hard to see. Uh, so you can increase that. Or kind of like your black and white contrast, you can give it a little bit of a different feel to it. You can also even crop the images which is great. You kind of just drag and crop what you actually want to save and what you want scanned. So it has all these other little things in here that I think are really, really great that really makes it worth the 99 cents. I wish there were some other things, but for 99 cents, you can't go wrong with Pocket Scanner. All right? All right, until next time, I'm Mario Armstrong. Let us know if there's any other apps that you would like us to review, and you can tell us by going to our website, smallbizgomobile.com, or following us on Twitter at smbizgomobile. And you can always send us an email at smallbizgomobile at gmail.com. Alrighty, happy scanning. See ya.